Okay, so now that we've covered the whole of the inner side here with, with silicon, we're going to stick each of these cells down into place, and that will be where they stay and stick when the silicon sets. So it's quite important that anything that is wrong with the underside of any of the cells is fixed now before they go down, because it will be really hard to get it back off again and very complicated um, if we later realise there's an error. So you can see, for example, on this one, that the tabbing wires come away from the cell, even though we soldered it down, so we must have not soldered it particularly well, and we didn't notice while we are doing it. So I'm going to fix that before it goes on. So, if we take one that is all good, everything's working here, there's nothing to fix, what we can now do, turn it over so we've got the blue side facing up, and before it goes down, we're just going to put a little blob of non corrosive silicon on the underside. So you can put a little blob on each of the three. And this silicon is going to firstly insulate and well, encapsulate is the correct word these connections. In terms of the longevity of the life of the overall panel once it's made, the connections are the weakest point. So wherever there is a two different types of conducting material coming into contact, so the tubbing wire and the cell, that's where corrosion is going to happen quickest. And as the each cell corrodes, the overall quality of the panel will decrease. So we want to slow that down as much as possible so that we get as much life out of the panel as possible. And one way in which we do that is by doing this, by encapsulating those connections with non-corrosive silicon. And this will basically prevent, or rather slow, the access to the connections um, for water and air. So it will keep them drier, and that will stop them from corroding as quickly. So you should add on a few years to the life of the panel by doing that. Once we've covered them in silicon, you don't have to use your fingers, you can use something else if you like, um, but if you do use your fingers it, it's not going to kill you. Um, we'll flip it over, we'll place it down, remembering the spacing that we wanted to achieve when we laid them out right at the beginning, and very gently, because the cells are ever so slightly convex, so you're now pushing down on something that's a bit more fragile than when it was the other way up, you just push put that into place so that it is sitting nice in the silicon and then in particular run our fingers along these white lines at the top to make sure that the connections are really nicely stuck into the silicon and encapsulated. Then I'm going to pull each of these wires that are coming out the bottom up and off so that they're standing up and then we're going to get another cell and we're going to do exactly the same, so encapsulate, flip it over, put it down like this, I'm not going to press it down because I need to take it back off and encapsulate it, and you can see now that this wire in a bit is going to come down onto the top like this, and likewise these wires are going to do the same for the next cell down, and we're going to continue like that around the whole panel. Now, once we reach the top, so I'm going to put in the imaginary final cell over here for this particular column. The next, the next cell that goes in, this one, has to be facing in this direction. So all of these have had the metal bits sticking out in this direction. Any column that's adjacent to another has to have its metal bit sticking in the opposite direction so the metal bits are now coming off this side. If I was to put it in the other way around like this we wouldn't be able to complete the circuit because we'd be going from bottom to bottom and that would be a parallel circuit. We need it to go from bottom to top to make a series circuit. I'm now putting the 
final cell into the panel. So in he goes, and hopefully we've left enough space. You can kind of slide them around a little bit because the silicon takes uh, about 24 hours to set properly. So you've got a bit of leeway to make last minute adjustments and that's now slotted in so just be careful when you're pushing down here if you crack it a tiny bit don't worry too much so we can see we're going to start here these tops are going to go onto that Uh, then these wires here are going to go onto that. These wires here coming off the bottom of this one are going to go down onto the top of that. These wires here coming off the bottom of this one are going to connect to the top of that and um, we'll do that in a little while. Then again, the wires coming off the bottom of this one are going to go down onto the top of that one. The wires coming off the bottom of this one are going to go onto the top of that one. The wires coming off the bottom of this one and I'm going to go on the top of that one and these wires here are going to be the positive terminal for the panel and they're going to run off into a wire so what we're going to do now is simply go up and down these columns and solder just like we did on the back but instead this time we're going to be soldering uh, the wires coming off the bottom of any given cell onto the top of the cell coming after it. So we're going from the positive, the underneath of each cell, onto the negative the top of the next cell. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way around. So we're going to have a series circuit of eight cells. <laughs> 